All right, the stage is set for what should be a really good game one as this series gets underway. Introductions wrapping up down on the field. And first pitch just minutes away. Here in Philadelphia, Citizens Bank Park, MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the New York Mets taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. Game one is always critical in a postseason series singing. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Eduardo Escobar. Now that. Well, both third sides baseman. equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Going around. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. On the ground. Segura picks it up, tosses to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. The batter, number two, designated hitter. Next is the designated hitter, Dominic Smith. Smith. Fair to say he wasn't his typical self of the division series. Chris, I talked to the staff, and they are confident that he's going to deliver big here in the LCS. Yeah, you see these guys around him, and they know he's a stud, and they know it's just a matter of one swing that he breaks out. It's through for a hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just one of those seen high base down. hits through the Second infield. Base. He just kind of rolled over yeah. on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Manager out of the Manager dugout out now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Now, out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Bailey Falter. And he'll work on holding this lead. One down, and stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. First offering misses the mark with a single base runner because of all the power they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Next offering is in for a strike. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Throw behind the runner. They've got him doubled off. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Phillies two and the Mets one. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, D.D. Gregorius. Not shortstop. The pitch. D.D. Gregorius. Ball one, no strikes. Hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. And one and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle so I gotta oh, think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands out front and foul to the left side and the 1 swing and a miss swing and a miss and he got him so he's gotten deep into this game 
And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Down quickly go the Phillies. They lead it 2-1. the game now to southpaw Brad Hand, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead back at Citizens Bank Park here's the catcher James McCann the pitch now a miss movement in the bullpen Corey Kniebel the closer is getting loose Coonrod warming up as well And now the lefty. And McCann fouls it off. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. The other way. Base hit as he pulls up short. Just a huge at bat right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bomb. So many positives that led to that knock. Nimmo at the plate now. Looks at one down below the zone. And a pitch. In the air on the infield, Segura settles under it. Falls it in for the out. The center fielder, number six, Starling Marte. And next for the Mets, Starling Marte. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next one is off the play. And now 2-0. Wings and lines a base hit into left field. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Lindor in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. One out. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. And that one in the air center field. Squeezes it. And there's two down. Now about it. Here's Pete Alonso. This guy with light tower power. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Now fly ball to right center. And that takes care of Alonzo. And that is...
is that two left for the Mets. They're down two to one. Bottom of the eighth, and now for the Phillies, Odubel Herrera. Trevor May will take over here. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Your attention, please. Now pitching for New York. Number six. And a pitch. There's a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. Just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two strike approach. One down, base is empty. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0 and 2. In the air, out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. Yeah. Now and now it's the Alec Bowl for the fourth Alec. time tonight. Yeah. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And it's even up. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Phillies down in order. But they still lead it 2-1. Knievel gets handed the rock out of the pen, trying to protect this lead. Number 23, Corey. Back here in Philadelphia, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Mark Cannon. comes a pitch and there's the strike looking to get the tying run on base they say what the next offering misses and the count is one and two. Next pitch, not close, up high. Rip to short. Gregorius over to first in time. And that is a big first out. Now that the third base in Eduardo Escobar. So up next for New York, Eduardo Escobar. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. First pitch way inside a fastball. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back there, and that one is off the wall. 
And he's safe. It's a wall ball double. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Dominic Smith getting ready to hit. And he's already singled in this game. First offering, and it just misses. One run game here at the top of the ninth. And that one is lifted in the air. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Yeah. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. Good contact guy, good defender. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, they're applying pressure, quality at bats, quality swings right now, and see this offense doing it one man to the next, showing a lot of fight right now. They're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. Just one out away, try to close it out. And that one wrapped foul. Just one strike away. And now it's filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Is just one strike away. And there's ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. James McCann up now for the Mets. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. And here's a slow roller. Throw from short right in time. Run scores in the play. The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. So the New York Mets notch the first win in this league championship series as they take game one. Yeah, it's a big step, but there's still plenty of work to do. They're going to need strong pitching in game two to keep this thing going, but this is a big boost to get off on the right foot for sure. And on the other side, you could argue the next game becomes almost a must-win situation. Yeah, the last thing these guys want to do is go down 2-0 right off the bat. Not impossible to bounce back from that, but man, it's a pretty dire situation to find yourself in.